and just Jano Caldwell, former union organizer Stuart Acuff, and attorney Christy Kunzig. Uh, good to see all you guys. Christy, I'll start with you. I mean, they're trying to get certain policy ideas accomplished somehow, some way, but they're out there in the streets protesting. As you heard Mike say, a lot of them didn't vote. How are they advancing their cause at all? They're really not. They're you know, getting some coverage, which maybe is getting people to to hear what they have to say, but sure. it's not an effective way for them to do what they would like to do. They're really hurting the people who want to go shopping, who are the people that are living in the neighborhoods with them. Those people want to go for Black Friday. They're not really hurting the businesses, and uh, they don't really have their their goals defined very well. They kind of are all over the place in what they actually want to achieve here, and so they you know they're protesting President elect, elect Donald Trump. Mm -hmm. They're protesting racism. Um, you know, saying that. That cops are being racist and targeting minorities, so they're a little bit scattered. And then, as you know, we just heard they're not out voting, so that's really when they have the right to get their their points across. Yeah, they're just they're making life difficult for anybody who wants to go and actually shop in Chicago. Which you know, if you think about it, Jano, you know, their economy is critical to their well-being. Sometimes they lose sight of perhaps the big picture in all of this. I mean, if people can't get in and out of the stores, ultimately that's not good right. for the community. Yeah, yeah, you're right, Trish. And I'm from Chicago. I've lived uh, just a matter of a couple of blocks from where they're currently protesting or where they were pro protesting. I want everybody to think about this number because I believe this is a very powerful number. 47% is the representation of African Americans between the ages of 20 and 24 years old. Those folks are largely unemployed. So the folks that are happen to be in and may have a job downtown Chicago, those that are lucky enough to have that, they have to think about what these protests are doing in terms of these individuals' employment. In addition to that, I agree with the fact that this Black Lives Matter theme largely hasn't had real policies, prescriptions, and a way to get it done. I think that's problematic on many levels. And I think if they're going to do something like this, maybe they should say, hey, let's bring all folks to the table to talk about these, is these very systemic issues in our community. Well, I think okay, a group, so you're getting back to the, sort of the, the, the root issue that all lives matter, not just black lives matter. We should bring everyone into this equation Absolutely. to improve Absolutely. life for everyone. Stuart, uh, Trish, uh, may I? Yes. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah. Well, the truth is that uh, there is a specific need to protest officially sanctioned murder of African Americans in our society. There's a specific need in Chicago right. to protest uh, torture, forced confessions, Police beatings. You know, Stewart. Uh, uh, Stewart. Uh, I, I, I think oh, the studies on, have proven finish. this one out. No, let but the, the studies, I just have to point Trish, this out. They have shown, finish. Stuart, over and over let again that, in fact, uh, we ridiculous. have not seen, you cut we me have off not seen African Americans this is suffer ridiculous. as a result of police officers. This, if anything, you know, police officers right now, Stewart, are the ones that are struggling. Oh, 67% increase many, in the number of deaths. How many black kids need to be murdered before we see it as a problem? And yes, all lives matter, but right now we have a specific problem with black lives. And Gianu, I'm sorry, but there so Stuart, are specifically isn't the answer specific that, policy. Isn't that, the will you answer, let me finish, make a point? Okay, finish, specifically, but I would only point out that the answer to that is not necessarily going and blocking everyone from getting in and out of the store. There is a policy recommendation in Chicago, and that's the CPAC. It's also a protest against Mayor Emanuel's two-week I think what initiative. you're doing is demonstrating exactly what and, Black Lives Matter does. They and, argue over everyone. There's no and, policy and, specifics. And you yeah, in Chicago, so I think it's there is a policy on many specific. levels to come on Fox News Gianna, channel. You're just okay. wrong. For you to come in on Chicago, Fox News channel there with that kind of rhetoric, specific. it's very dangerous. Stewart. And I think it resembles that of many folks that protest, like Occupy Wall Street. I'm pretty sure you, know, you were part this, of that movement. They got nothing done. This demonstration has its roots in the picketing and the boycott of stores during the civil rights movement mm -hmm. in the early and mid 60s. That's where this demonstration has its roots. And we're on national TV talking about it and talking about the murder of black kids. That is a victory, just that we're yeah, raising it, it and I guess, talking I guess, about sir, it. Okay, so you see this as a plus because, you know, here they're commanding some time on national airwaves. Not just uh, and that. And there are, not you know, that. protests going not on. We're looking that. at live pictures they're of it right now. Not so just this that. to you. Why do you put words positive. in my mouth? Trish, hey, this oh, is ridiculous. Well, forgive me, Stuart, if that's Neil not what you said. I thought you just said that the mouth. protests were a positive Neil thing. would never put. That and that's not the only thing the protesters what are, you are doing. To They're say challenging that? their city, the people in their city, to look with compassion on black lives and black kids and African Americans and to do something okay. about systemic violence against Stuart, African Americans. And the point the panel is making, what you heard from Giano, is there are other ways to do it. 
There Absolutely. are other there ways are. in that you should get out and there vote. Are. You know, why, why are they taking to the streets to protest as opposed very, to going about it in a sensible way? That's very unfair. Stewart, you all pick Stewart, out would, one or two people who didn't vote and then, and then say that's everybody. That's very unfair Stewart, and not Stewart, accurate I, at all. Stuart, I would ask that you balance. join with me. Stuart, I would ask that you join with me as we come up with some policy solutions to uh, uh, target the criminal know, justice I'd reform. Hope so we, need to, we need criminal justice reform, and I think it's like the Leaders to of do America, that. which I'm a part of, and these are law enforcement officers, these are prosecutors, all the folks that come together to make these very important decisions. And I think if you have, and I'm so I do deal with this stuff on a regular basis. I work with Republican right. leadership on right. the Hill when it comes to these issues. I think that's when we can actually get something done. So protesting is important right. when it's used, utilized in the correct way. But there's other ways in which you take that attention, that national attention that you just mentioned, and you get policy done. And I All think right. that's what I agree. Agree. All right. All right. Agree we got some agreement. Christy, I'm glad that Christy, we can what do you say? Last word to Christy right. before couldn't we go, guys. More. Thank you. I was going to say, to Gianno's point, I think that if you want to raise awareness and say that there are some racial issues that we have to address, you don't do it by by adding more racial tension and saying, you know, we're only going to block stores that have white well, owners. Wait, 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 wait. I, I, you if you look at their Facebook, that's what it murdered. is. You can't, you can't you say that. And if you want to look at the facts, Stuart, right. America, you have to look at the facts. And that is Good to have all you guys here. And what is here. more important to protest than that? Good to have you all here. Thank you so much. <laughs> all right. Those Black Friday protests, I can tell you, they're not stopping scenes like